Princess of Wales plans to go without a tiara and instead wear a floral headpiece for the king's coronation. The Princess of Wales is set to go without a tiara and instead wear a floral headpiece for the coronation of King Charles III, it is claimed. Kate Middleton could be planning on ignoring the tradition of wearing her most spectacular tiara in favor of a more natural look at Westminster Abbey on Saturday, May 6. The move may disappoint traditionalists who will be hoping to see the royal family and guests dressed to the nines and looking their best for the occasion, The Times reports. However, it would be in keeping with the theme her father-in-law has set so far and during his reign, with his focus on greenery, nature and the environment. When the invitations for the ceremony were sent out last month, they were adorned with images of flowers, birds, insects and the green man while the thrones themselves are being reused rather than made new which would be customary. Kate, who is thought to have wanted to wear a floral headpiece on her wedding day 12 years ago but eschewed it in favor of a traditional tiara, could wear a crown of flowers next week, The Times reports. It claims that other women within the firm could follow suit in avoiding wearing the heiress, but stresses these are just thought to be rumors at this point, with royal sources refusing to confirm or deny this. Kensington Palace declined to comment when approached by the Times on whether the Princess of Wales would wear a tiara. Sally Bedell Smith, a biographer of the royal family, told the publication, The sight of the Princess of Wales in a floral crown will set a particular tone, showing the king's relevance for nature and his passion for flowers. It seems like an especially egalitarian touch as well. As the wife of the future king, she will be setting an example for the other women in the congregation who might find it awkward to even think of wearing tiaras. One result may be that the crowns and regalia covered with precious jewels may stand out in sharper relief as symbols of the monarchy. They are, after all, held in trust by the monarch for the nation and represent the continuity of the monarchy over 1,000 years. If she does wear a jewelry-adorned headpiece, the Princess of Wales could wear the Cambridge lover's not tiara a favorite of both herself and her late mother-in-law Diana. When Queen Elizabeth was crowned in 1953, the Queen Mother wore a circlet from the crown she had worn at the coronation of her father in 1937. Princess Margaret, the Duchess of Gloucester, the Duchess of Kent and the Princess Royal all wore tiaras. If true it would not be the first time Kate has been tempted to ignore tradition. She reportedly nearly didn't wear a formal headpiece at all on her wedding day 12 years ago. It is understood that the Princess of Wales had hoped to wear a flower crown, as her mother Carol Middleton had done on her own wedding day. However, she observed tradition and eventually agreed to a 739 diamond and 149 baguette diamond Cartier halo tiara. Lent to the bride by the late Queen Elizabeth. This turned out to be her something borrowed on the day itself, April 29. Although Kay chose not to wear a flower crown, she still paid tribute to her family with her Robinson Pelham earrings, a gift from her parents, which featured a diamond acorn, intended to represent the Middleton family's coat of arms. The four young bridesmaids, including William's cousin Lady Louise Windsor and Queen Camilla's granddaughter Eliza Lopes, wore white flower crowns lily of the valley and ivy. These were believed to mirror the headpiece worn by Carol at her wedding in 1980.